welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. There's now a brand new 50p coin that you can find out in your change for your coin collection and has the potential to be a rather sought after coin. So let's have a look at that today. What is the coin then? It is the 2023 Coronation 50p. This coin was minted to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III, which happened on the 6th of May 2023. We knew that the coin was going to be minted for circulation, but there's been a bit of a delay with it finally making its way into general circulation now. The coin was designed by Natasha Jenkins, someone who has previously designed other coins for the Royal Mint too. It features an image of the entrance of Westminster Abbey, where the King's coronation took place, and you can also see his crown cipher in the design too. So how rare is this coin going to be? There is an indicative mintage figure of 5 million being put into circulation. In recent years, the Royal Mint has provided this indicative mintage figure when a coin gets used as a circulating coin, but this hasn't always been the case. Back in 2017, the four Beatrix Potter coins for that year, the Sir Isaac Newton 50p and the Definitive Shield 50 pence coins were all circulated. But it took a couple of years before we found out how many were out there in our change and which was the rarer coins. At least we can kind of draw parallels to other coins currently in circulation with this latest edition to predict how rare it's going to be. Assuming that the 5 million are minted, no more and no less, it will put the new Coronation 50p on a par with Squirrel Nutkin. The Squirrel Nutkin coin was minted in 2016 as one of five Beatrix Potter coins released into our change that year. Although it isn't the rarest coin you will find, it certainly isn't the most common either. It's worth pointing out that initially, the coin will be much more common to find as it first enters our change. As with many new releases, there tends to be a huge tidal wave of the newest coins, which slowly declines as it gets mixed in with the rest of the many circulating 50Ps. The coin does seem to have been fast-tracked into circulation too. They've been pushed out to post offices across the country, similar to what happened in 2022 with the Platinum Jubilee 50P. Previously, the Royal Mint confirmed that in 2020, 46.5 million Definitive Shield 50Ps were struck to be put out into our change. And for those of you who've been hunting for these coins, you will know there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of them about. Many of the commemorative designs struck after that seem to have been fast-tracked into our change, rather than waiting in the Royal Mint's long store in a long queue for demand to eventually require that they enter circulation. It is some relief that this new commemorative has been put out straight away because otherwise we'd potentially be waiting for their entire stock of 2020 shield designs to be used up before we even got to see this new coin. So then, how valuable is the coin going to be? That is very hard to predict this early on. Initially, they've been selling for quite a bit over their face value, but there are always those willing to pay a premium to get the product early. Now, I did say that they have been selling for quite the margin over its face value, but please don't misunderstand. You won't be getting thousands for them, not even hundreds, but perhaps a fiver or so from a buyer desperate to get their hands on one. As time progresses and the coin gets more widely circulated though, this average price should settle down as more people are able to get their hands on them, reducing the number of people willing to buy them and increasing the number of sellers listing them for sale. So you won't be able to retire just by finding one of these new coins. There is one facet of this coin though, which might make this more valuable than other coins of a similar mintage. When the coin was first released to collectors earlier on in 2023, the portrait which was used on the obverse or head side of the coin was a break in a centuries old tradition. The king was pictured for the first time since the reign of King Charles II hundreds of years ago wearing a crown. You might think that kings and crowns go hand in hand, but for UK coins, kings haven't been pictured on our coins wearing a crown for a very long time. Of course, some queens have worn crowns on our coins, and some kings have been pictured wearing crowns on coins for other parts of the wider British Empire. But for UK coins, this is a first in a long time. However, the coin you're going to be finding in circulation does not feature an image of the crowned king. 
For the one going into our change, we return to the standard Martin Jennings portrait, which has been used for all other coins minted throughout the reign of King Charles III so far. So why might this have an effect on the value of the coin then? Well, quite simply, there is up till now, and as far as we know, no other way to get this version of the Coronation 50p without the crowned portrait of the king. So in years to come, those looking to complete their collections, they might want a nice example of this coin. After years in circulation, knocking into other coins, in pockets, purses and wallets, or just being exposed to the elements or many hands and fingers wearing the details down, if you're able to secure some of the coins early into their life in circulation and preserve them in this new shiny immaculate condition, these coins might appreciate in value over time. As time goes by, those coins in circulation will only get more damaged and worn, so a handful of coins removed and cared for early into their their working life will be what new collectors really want for their collection in the future. Now this does all hinge on the Royal Mint not issuing an uncrowned version of the Coronation 50p later this year in a higher standard finish. We certainly wouldn't rule that out, but if they don't then you could get some of these coins for 50p now, keep them for a while and it might turn into a pretty penny in the future. Again, just to set expectations, we aren't talking retiring to your mansion in the Bahamas in five years time money, but a bit of profit nonetheless. This is only the second coin to enter circulation with the portrait of King Charles III, as back in 2022, quite quickly after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, a 50p was struck for collectors and also issued into circulation too. This coin had almost double the indicative mintage figure, and is now one that you should have no problem finding out in your change. The Memorial 50p borrows its design from the Coronation coin, which was released in 1953 to celebrate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. So, in a way, both the circulating 50ps featuring King Charles III are coronation themed. This does mean that the Coronation 50p is the first confirmed coin to be put into circulation for 2023. There was an expectation that the Windrush 50p would circulate too, because that's what was recommended by the Windrush Celebration Committee, but no confirmation has come from the Royal Mint since it was produced for collectors about it going into our change. The Coronation 50p is only one coin in a whole range of Coronation coins which was produced by the Royal Mint earlier in this year. There was also a £5 coin which features the Coronation Crown and other artefacts used in the Coronation Ceremony. Another coin which drew on many design elements past and present was released in varying weights of gold and silver too. There was also the Coronation Sovereign with a very limited strike on the day run in addition to the later released proof sovereigns as well. And of course there was also a whole bullion range of coins which were released to mark the coronation. So overall, there was a lot of Coronation coins for collectors to purchase and invest into already, so it's quite nice now that we can get one for the cost of just 50p by checking what coins we've got in our change. There may still be more coins released by the Royal Mint and put into general circulation throughout 2023 though. Although the 2023 annual commemorative coin sets were released to collectors at the start of 2023, we have still yet to see the 2023 annual definitive coins, those which are the standard designs and not commemorating anything in particular. There's lots of rumours and speculation about what these coins might end up looking like, but perhaps some of these will be needed to fill the cash needs of the country and will filter into circulation after they're released. There is of course the now long awaited 2023 one pound coin, which years ago was confirmed to be happening. It is set to be the first change in the design on the one pound coin since we adopted the 12 sided revamped coin back in 2017. And at the time it was announced that this coin would be to celebrate 40 years of the one pound coin. It would be minted for collectors, but also suggested that it be put into circulation too. So for now, there is one more exciting coin to find out in our change and add to our collections. It might be a coin which develops some value over time, but shouldn't after a while be all that tricky to get your hands on. Even if there is another release later this year with the uncrowned portrait, at least we've had a new coin to find, something that has been happening with less frequency in recent years. 
Let us know in the comments if you've managed to come across any of these new Coronation 50Ps out in your change. And if you have, where did you find them? I know that we're all itching to get our hands on the first circulating Coronation 50P as well. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video to check out the rest of the Coronation range available over on our website. There'll be links to some other coins as well that featured in the video too. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. We're also on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop and online store. And I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.